morning once again, Retriever fans, and welcome back to the UMBC Coach's Corner. I'm Dan Lahat. Once again, I'm joined by head softball coach, Coach Joe French. Coach, welcome back in. Thank you. Able to pick up a couple wins last weekend down at Elon. What was the key for the team? Uh, the three things that we always talk about. We uh, need to pitch well, we need to catch and throw the ball well, and we need to get those timely clutch hitting, and, and we were able to do that. Uh, we won two low-scoring games uh, with Jess Holty pitching, keeping us in the game. And in fact, in one of the games, the second, her second start, they had the winning run on third in the bottom of the seventh, first and third, and she pitched out of a jam into their two best hitters. She got the two hitter out in the three, you know, and, and you make a play like that, you're really good. And then in the Iona game. They were more of a high-scoring game, and uh, the one went extra innings, and we were able to put a, a one inning in the extra inning game, a five spot on the board, and then the game we were behind four to one. Kiddingly, I said to the girls when they got ahead four to one, I said, okay, we got them right where we want them. We're down three, and geez, we put a nine spot on the board, okay? So I think the confidence from the week before playing, beating a good Wilmington team, and then uh, also winning our first game, of the season, I thought, you know, immediately gave us a little bit of confidence. I think it rolled over into this weekend, and, uh, and you know, we just were able to get a play when we needed a play, whether it was a pitch, a hit, or, or a good field. Now, you talk about momentum. Hopefully it continues this weekend. You're down uh, Norfolk State for a couple games down there. What needs to happen? What happened for your team to get a couple more wins down there? Um, I think the same thing. I think... Uh, We've been, as far as offensive production, there's been a number of different people that have contributed. I see our lineup being more circular than it the past year. Uh, we, you know, we've gotten production out at the top of the order, the middle of the order, and the bottom of the order. So I think as long as there's a group that, you know, are getting the big hits and the clutch hits and that type of thing, getting the bunts down, whatever we need to do, and, and again, our pitcher needs to keep us in a ball game, give us a chance to win. Uh, a big momentum change last week, too, uh, was the game where uh, we started Kelly and Iona uh, put a few runs on the board. And Nicole, when she went in there, uh, that's our, our third freshman, we said to her, hey, you got to give us a chance to win. She kept us in the game and l limited the damage. And then... Uh, we tied it up late in the ball game and then won it in extra innings. And, and after the game, I was telling the, the team, I said, that's the type of game, whether, you know, that, this particular game, the pitcher that relieved had to come in and keep us in the ball game. And we had to pick away at it and that type of thing. So if we do the same thing this weekend, where we give ourselves an opportunity to stay in the ball game and possibly win the ball game, then we just got to make a play. Well, good luck this weekend down in Virginia, and hopefully you can bring a few more victories back up to Baltimore. Okay, thank you. Once again, the Retrievers down at the Spartan Classic at Norfolk State this weekend. For the Coach's Corner, I'm Dan LaHatt.